What's going on guys? A little while ago I unboxed a product for Apple's Magic Trackpad called the Moby Magic Numpad. This is an accessory that basically turns the Apple Magic Trackpad into a number pad complete with you know a return key, a plus key, a minus key, a, a multiplication key, um, the number pad obviously you know has all the number keys and of course you can assign custom keys. So this is going to be sort of a review of it. So once you open the box obviously the trackpad is not included but um, one of the most noticeable things that you see are these little guys right here. These are basically sort of like stickers that go on and they look a little bit like this and they allow you like I said to have like that number number pad functionality. There's also um, two other ones that come in the package. You see you have one here that has the arrow keys whereas this one doesn't. So a little difference there. Also, this one also has some more customizable keys. And then you have this one with just um, some free space over here and just the number pad and some basic uh, math functions, I guess, like the calculator key, return, and things like that. Also in the box, you have a pen, which as you saw, I did write some uh, custom notes on there, so I'll get more of that later. And you also get a little squeegee sort of thing to actually apply it without air bubbles. And you also get a card like this. Now this card is important because it has your serial key on the back. I won't show it. Um, my thumb is covering it, but that's so you can download the software. So um, as, as, as you guys probably could have guessed, these stickers won't do you much good because the trackpad doesn't see a difference. Obviously you need some software that will run this. And so actually what I'm going to do from now on to give you guys sort of an overview of how this works, I'm going to do like a screen capture that will show the, the computer side, you know, how the software looks. And of course I'll show you guys the trackpad and how that works. So before I ramble anymore, let's go ahead and get into the overview. Alright, so before we actually start using the trackpad, I'm going to apply one of these. I will apply uh, this guy right here. So they're very easy to apply, you just peel it back. It's very much like a sticker, sort of like applying, uh, say like a screen protector for a smartphone, something like that. It's pretty easy to do, it is sort of uh, difficult to get air bubble free, but that's just because of the way air works. I mean, that's kind of hard to avoid. But um, I'll do the best I can. I'm really not too picky about air bubbles when it comes to things like this because I don't really see them. If it's like a smartphone screen, then they bug me big time. But just for something like this, a few air bubbles never really hurt anyone. So I can live with a few air bubbles here. I'm not striving for perfection or anything. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to apply. And that way, at least got me like you know a nice uh, straight edge there. No part of the sticker hanging off. So pretty easy to apply. I really have no complaints there. And it's worth mentioning one more time that in addition to this one, you have the guy with the arrow keys and just the guy with some uh, free space over here. Now the free space is sort of important because once the um, the keypad has been activated if you just go to use it like normal obviously you'll be hitting some keys and things like that really won't work for you so the free space even when the um, magic numpad is activated you can still use this area with no keys to pan around so that's something to keep in mind that um, you'll have to turn like the number pad mode off in order to use this like with gestures and things like that but what, uh, once the number pad is on you can't do that you'll have to shut it off or use one like this that has a lot of free space and from there you can pan around and do things like that so now getting more into the software side let's go ahead and open up Moby's magic numpad software and as you can see right here, nothing happened. That's because it's all up in the menu bar. So as you can see, we, we can enter numpad mode right from here. There's also a key actually on the trackpad for that. But we'll go into preferences and show you guys around a little bit. So as you can see, we have num1, or really 10, 20, and 30, which each of these correspond to down here. Hopefully that, that can focus. You can see it says num10. This one we're currently using is num30, and this one, as you can guess, is num20. So since we're using num30, I selected num30 up here, and from here, all these little drop downs, these are those are the custom keys. Um, all these guys, you can have, you can customize pretty much to your liking. Uh, obviously, the ones up here, like these four, already have functions, as you can see right here. So you can't assign those or any of these ones. But all these keys up here, uh, you can actually reassign to do different functions, which is very cool. I'll get more into that in a little bit. But for now, I'm simply just going to launch it into numpad mode. And as you can see, we are now in numpad mode. I can say that I have had some problems with that. Sometimes I'll do a double tap, and it does take it a few tries for it to recognize. But usually that's not the case. Um, it's just, a, like I said, on occasion, it will do that. But so as you can see, now we are actually in numpad mode. So let's say, for example, I want to open up text edit. We can simply do that. And when I hit these little keys on here, you can actually see that numbers pop up. Now this is very useful for many things. For example, in school, I'm taking an accounting class, and to have to enter all the numbers using these uh, the number keys up here, that takes like twice as long as just you know punching in. Because I mean, a number pad like this, you know exactly where all the buttons are. It's just it's just much easier. So this way, it allows you to enter these numbers much faster. So moving on to creating these little um, custom keys here, I'm going to go into the preferences here, and as you can see, um, on this one I've already I've used this in the past. However, I have since restored, so this uh, program might not have my settings, 
But as you can see, uh, copy, paste, and mail. Um, instead of doing that command C or uh, command uh, V for paste or just opening up mail, you can actually assign it to open an application or to actually do keyboard shortcuts such as command C, command P, uh, control P, or command P. I don't know why I just said control, it's Windows, but uh, command P to print. You can have a little print key there. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that. It's actually very easy using their software here. So as you can see, um, since I'm in num30, this key here corresponds to this key here. So right now I'm going to have it synthesize a keyboard shortcut. Now here, I'm just going to type in the keyboard shortcut I want. In this case, it's Command C. And now it's set to copy. So now whenever I come in to highlight this, if I hit this, as you can see, the edit menu blinks. I have now copied that text to my clipboard, and I can paste it wherever I would like. Now I can also do the same with the, the paste command. So synthesize keyboard shortcut, I'll do Command V. And now I have a paste shortcut. So now if I come here and say I hit enter, 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 and I want to paste it, it's as simple as hitting the paste key and my text has been pasted. Very efficient. So even if you don't want this just for the number keys, having those keyboard shortcuts, one, like it, it can just save lots of time. And so now we'll do one more different thing here. As you can see, this is set to open up mail, so I will do that now. So I'm going to have it launch an application. Go to my applications folder, hit M. There's Mac X mail. So now whenever I hit that key, my mail application will, op will open up. Now, say you do a lot of spreadsheets, you can have that set to Excel, or I can have that set to PowerPoint. So, I mean, I could have Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, you know, the whole Microsoft suite of applications, or at least the most the common ones, right there. So I don't have to go to my doc, or I don't have to go up in Spotlight or Search. I can simply just have those applications one, with pretty much one press of a key. Very nice to have. And in case you're wondering what this looks like next to the Apple keyboard, I can do that for you as well. It looks pretty similar. Obviously, uh, these keys aren't quite as white, and you can see a few of those air bubbles, but overall, it does still offer a very nice Apple look to it. Uh, I really have no complaints about the look at all, and it is pretty functional to use, and it does save tons of time, like I said, on accounting homework or things like that, where you have to enter lots of digits. That's a huge time saver. Um, this is indeed, if you couldn't tell, the Bluetooth Apple keyboard. It doesn't have a number pad, so you know I have a trackpad, and I can actually alternate between whether I want the number pad or to have the trackpad. So this offers a very nice solution to those people that wish the Bluetooth version did have a number pad, but maybe don't want it there all the time. So and, and as you guys could guess, it's just as simple to turn off. All it takes is one press of your finger, and we're now back to trackpad mode, now which I can do gestures and switch spaces and all sorts of things like that. So this has just been a pretty quick overview of the Magic Numpad for Moby. This sells for around $30. Do I think it's worth it? I definitely think absolutely. It might not be for everybody. If you don't do a lot of number crunching, and maybe this uh, the shortcuts here aren't enough to justify $30, that's completely up to you. But um, if you enter lots of digits, you don't want to have to use the number row, like the row of numbers on the Apple Bluetooth keyboard, but yet you still want to maintain that clean Apple look on your desktop, this is definitely a way to go. Some people may look at this and say, oh, I'm paying 30 bucks for some stickers. Really, you're paying 30 bucks for the nice look um, obviously, yes, the stickers, but also the software to make this stuff happen. So, you know, it's not just stickers and that's it. There's much more to it than that. You have to see past it. So before I ramble anymore, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Be sure to share this video on Twitter. Give it a big old thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.